Constance here from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So it's been a little bit since I've done a coffee chat and I thought I would go ahead and do another little story time coffee chat of sorts. Um, although this one's not exactly a coffee chat because I'm not drinking coffee. I am drinking iced tea. So today for me is Saturday and I worked at the farmers market as I usually do. And on the way home, I went through the drive through and I grabbed something to drink. And getting that drink reminded me of something that happened many moons ago, which I thought you might find a little entertaining. And so I thought I would share that with you. And that is the first time I heard of sweet tea. Now many of you know I am originally from the Midwest. I grew up in Wisconsin. And I grew up a child of the, I guess you could say the 80s. I was born in the early 70s, but of course my real formative years would have been in the 80s. Well, there was no internet in the 80s. There were no smartphones or anything like that. So when you lived in a certain region, you would not be familiar with customs or traditions or things from another region unless you happen to have friends or family who live there and being from the Midwest and having pretty much all of my relatives also in the Midwest I had never heard of this little thing called sweet tea until one day I was newly married and I went somewhere with my brand new sister-in-law and her roommate now, we had stopped at a restaurant, it was late, and we needed to get something for dinner. So we went into this restaurant, we ordered our food, and got our cups, went and got our drink, and went and sat down at a table to eat our food. Well, one of them mentioned something about what they were drinking. And I looked at them, and I said, what are you talking about? And they said, it's sweet tea. And I said, what? I had never in my life heard the two words sweet and tea together as a single thing. <laughs> I looked at her and I said, what do you mean sweet tea? She's like, it's sweet tea. And I'm like, it's, it's what? And she, I don't know how long it took them to explain to me that this was iced tea but it was already sweetened. Understand, growing up in the Midwest, I'd never heard of such an exotic thing as sweet tea. Up north, if you wanted tea, your tea came with little packets of sugar or maybe those blue or pink packets, but your tea never came pre-sweetened. You had to sweeten it yourself. The very idea of having tea that had sugar already dissolved into it that you didn't have to sit there and stir 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 and then still drink the sugar granules from the bottom of the glass with your straw was was totally foreign to me. I could not fathom the concept at all. And I have to tell you, it was at that point I was hooked. From that point forward, I was a sweet tea fool. That's pretty much all I ever drank from that point forward. But uh, over the years, you know, we always had sweet tea in the house. It was always in the fridge. My kids learned how to make it themselves pretty early on. Now when Joshua started making sweet tea, however, that is when sweet tea took on a whole new meeting. That boy, I, I guess he's just a true southerner because there's this joke about sweet tea being so sweet that you can pour it on your pancakes in the morning. That was the kind of sweet tea that Joshua would make and you pretty much always knew when it was his creation in the refrigerator because man, that boy used about double the amount of sugar <laughs> that we would normally use because he felt like the more sugar the better. Mm -hmm. But I gotta confess you guys, as of late, since I went paleo and I cut out the sugar, I do still occasionally get tea, but now I guess it's my Yankee roots coming back out because now 
if I am out somewhere and I want to get something to drink, well, first of all, I haven't drank soda in forever. I just, I don't drink soda. I don't like it. I think it's gross. <laughs> uh, so soda hasn't been part of my life for years. But I would still get sweet tea now and again when I was out and about. But now, if I'm somewhere and I need to get something to drink, it is unsweet tea with lemon. Yep, that is the truth. You know, I see these jokes about how do you drink unsweet tea in the South, and it's a picture of it getting poured down the drain. Nope, that's how I drink it. I, and I actually, I actually like it. Unsweet tea with lemon. So yes, I will never forget the time that I was utterly baffled and stupefied at the, the very idea of tea that was already sweet. I'd never heard of such a thing. So that's it, you guys. I thought I would just share that little story with you, that little trip down memory lane. Uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments down below, are you a sweet tea drinker or are you an unsweet tea drinker? So thanks for watching. Be sure to check out CosmopolitanCornbread.com for recipes, articles, and all sorts of great content. And stop by PaleoYum.com, my brand new paleo food blog for recipes that are low carb and all of that good stuff over there. So thanks for watching you guys, and I will talk to you all next time.